welcome everyone to Scatsum Entertainment's Rise of Mordor 1v1 Siege today. Today's replay was sent to me by the Locksmith. Now, I'm not sure about his opponent today. Perhaps the Locksmith can put his name in the comment section below. If you'd like to send me through other Rise of Mordor replays like this, there are links displayed on your screen and also in the description below. There's also a PayPal option, subscribe star, Patreon, or stream as donation link if you'd like to support my work. But if you'd like to support my work in other ways, then please remember to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, Tick that bell for notifications, and leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. And with that, let's get into it. So, it's Mirkwood versus Lindon today. Mirkwood is defending. Mirkwood is being commanded by the Locksmith, I believe. And we have some Lascaran blades here on the walls. Looks to be two units there. Make that three total on this section. Behind them, in the, in the courtyard, we have some Lascaran spears. We've got some Fornost rangers. Looking at these guys here briefly. I have to really see. Ironically, we have some Lascaran archers. We've got some Lascaran spears here. Making our way throughout the city, we have another unit of Lascaran archers. Okay, up here towards the top citadel, we have. Okay, up here to. Okay, up here at the citadel, we have some Lascaran spears, some Hall guardians, and some Elven king riders here. Elven King Riders, eh? Hey? Looking pretty smick. Alright, we got two units of Lascaran Blades here on the walls. Some Hall Guardians and Lascaran Spears. And that's all I can see there for Mirkwood's forces. Let's go and check out Lindon's forces, eh? Hey? Alright, man the Siege Towers here. We got some Noldoran Swords. Looks to be three units there. We have... Six units here total. We have some Noldoran Spears. So three more units of Noldoran Spears here. We've got one, two, three, four units of Noldoran Archers. Some Noldoran Esquitarians. Esquitrians, sorry. And we have two units of Noldoran Swords here. Two units of Shipwright Nobles. And make that three, actually. Generals in... Generals in one of the um, Shipwright Noble units, this one here. In this section of the attack, very isolated from the rest of the, rest of the army, we have some Noldoran Esquitarians, some Noldoran Spears, and Noldoran Swords in each Siege Tower. And that's it guys, so let's get this replay started. Enjoy. Okay guys, we're back. The Scary Knights is firing on the Battering Ram crew. Noldoran Spears got their shields up. Doesn't seem to be helping them too much. Now, what's even more interesting about the Lindon attack is that they're not assaulting this section of the wall, so the locksmith can now pull these forces, you think, off this wall here and reallocate it over here and over here, but mainly over here because this is where Lindon is attacking in force and actually outnumbers him now. He can race his forces here across the walls here, but for some reason Mirkwood is not moving just yet. Our gates have been blown apart. Okay, they're firing. They're obstructed. Oi, you want some of this? Okay, Arts is struggling to fire. Which is a little bit surprising. You'd think they'd be able to pick a good target. There's many available now on the walls here. Okay, we've got troops running across the wall. And down to 50. Okay, how's the scaring blades going? Not too good. Elf on elf. Both sides of soldier know exactly what they're doing. Mercury's here is just being overwhelmed, but it doesn't have to be like that. Enemy 
units have returned to the battle. Let's well, and Spears being outflanked. Battery Ram's been abandoned because the unit actually the unit hasn't um, routed. They're on the verge of being wiped out. We've got another unit being sent up. Probably take the battering ram's place and just knock down that gate. Some questionable moves here from the locksmith. This fight's kind of one-sided. I only see the Merkwood soldiers poking their spears into the Northern spears. Scaring Blade is winning this fight. Oh, well, that arrow tower would help a little bit. Okay, finally. He's got those Scaring Blades moving on the walls here. They're taking fire. But they're not routed. Got a unit of Nodder and Spears moving up. Now, the Lindon's attack here on the walls is going pretty good. Okay, he's taking the walls here. Why isn't the rest of the army following him in? I mean, he's got the walls, and now he can move down, establish a perimeter, get these archers on the walls to cover his infantry down below. I think he could easily do that. They're almost through. Yeah, no. Lindon has the advantage here. I'm surprised he's not pressing hard. He's got a foothold inside the city. But he's not fortifying his position. He's just standing there. This battle's a little bit tight, but it's going Merkwood's way. Oh, an order and swords gaining the upper hand here. Yeah, that battle's pretty much a stalemate. We've got two units of Lascarian archers, which are really needed over here. He's gonna get some archers on this ramp. The men have thrown down their I'm sure that will help things. Those archers can fire on enemy Lindon troops coming both through the gate and down off the walls here. So just keep some Lascarian blades to establish a perimeter to try and keep the enemy at bay while the archers dig into Lindon's forces as they come up through the city. One unit of Lascarian Spears mulling around. Again, um, the locksmith needs to pull them back. They can't serve anyone down there. Well, they definitely help Lindon's case. He can just send a bunch of units to overwhelm and crush this unit. 
He's got to pull them back. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. I'm not sure where the Northern Spears are running, but they're definitely trying to get out of there. Alright, the Merkwood's opened up now on Lindon forces down below. The Nodorian Esquitarians got a good charge here on the Lascaran Spears. The enemy have disaster! Enemy forces have seized our gates! Okay, Northern Spears broken here. Lindon Cav charging in. Merkwood Archer's vulnerable here to that Cav. There are no Spears protecting them. Spread themselves out. The gates have fallen to us. Okay, they have lost twenty three archers so far. The whole guy is moving up. To drive the cab back. Now yeah, probably be a good time to retreat the uh, Lindon calves. We're up against heavy spearmen. You know, that scary Nazis has been almost obliterated down to 30. Probably shouldn't send them up. That's 30 Nazis he could have used. He's got to turn around those whole guardians. Rangers losing men fast. Okay, Forest Rangers firing. Ready to fire. Okay, they're targeting the Nolder and Archers. Only have lost air rangers on the walls here, so two units of rangers on the walls. Yeah, this is confusing. This unit of Lascar and Archers should be shooting directly into the backs here of the Northern Esquitarians. But they're shooting at broken running rate routing troops. The rangers here, down to 58. They, they need to be retreated right now. You got a unit of infantry that should be sent in to try and defend them. Okay, finally. We've got some Elder King Riders coming through. This is general unit, but it was definitely needed here. A general is being attacked! Keep him alive! Esquitarians losing that fight. How are they going here? One of my units can no longer fire. Out of ammunition? Hello. Okay, kill counts. 13, 21 men left on the ally on the defender side. 
Twelve eighty six on the attacker. The men are broken and are fleeing. Midnight can really spread himself out a bit more. He's got his archers all concentrated in the one area. We've got a second unit of Noldoran Esquitarians. We've also got a unit of Lascarian Spears over here by themselves with, with what's left of a unit of Lascarian Blades. But Lindor Cab is ignoring it. And here we go again. Our men return to the fight. Okay, so they're not dying. There you go. Well, they're having an issue, so that's something. But that was really predictable. Kevin, get through there. Yeah, they're out of ammunition. So this is where the battle is at. Got some archer support there. It's a little bit slow going here for them though. That's a bit better. Local troops here relatively exposed here. That field of fire. Forty-one, eighty-two. Okay, Noldor and Archers losing the right flank here to those ranges on the walls. Most of Lindon's forces still outside at the moment. Excellent missile block chance. Two units of modern swords, fresh units. Okay, archers are firing a bit more frequency. You know, if you see an easy target, why not go for it? The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Okay, Elder King's Riders. Okay, the locksmith. Mark wasn't out of there just in time. Poor Guardian's a little bit out of position. You gotta watch out for that. Nindo looking for a way in. He looks like he's found it. In fact, that's some of the Hall Guardians.
looks like the locksmith is, his attention is all the way over here. Okay, let's go and answer firing into this big blob here of Lindon forces. Seems to be really helping out their front line. Kill counts now 891 for defenders, 996 for the attackers. So Lindon's cab is making a big impact in this battle, I think. Whole unit of Lascarian's blades can link up, I think, with the Lascarian spears to do their best to hold there. Lascarian archers down to 73. Actually, they haven't lost a single archer since we last saw them. It's pretty good. They're all ducking behind the battlements. So they definitely make it hard to hit them. All right, we've got enemy cab inside here. The well, Scarring Spear is down to 26. Enemy forces have destroyed an entire unit. The Oven King Riders. They're definitely needed here to quell that threat and protect the rear of their defense. And it can be free to charge into the Lascarian, the whole Guardians, the actually. Ammunition is spent and it can no longer fire. I think Merkwood's out of ammunition now, entirely. 721 to 883. Nothing remains of this unit now. Now, Lindon try and do a runner and maybe attack that unit of Hall Guardians over there. He can't win this fight, but he can get away and do a charge into Merkwood's infantry. Could be more valuable to him doing that than trying to face off against the Hall, the uh, Elven King's riders, which they're losing badly. Yep, there he goes. This is really his only best move. He can get some hits and extra casualties. Anything rise in pursuit. More casualties. Two so units of Mordor and Spears coming through. Now Lindon won't be able to really use his archers here, which does give Lindon some advantage. He could also do what um, Lindon's been doing him this entire time, run his own cavalry once he's dealt with the Lindon Espitarians. Run his, run his own cavalry all the way around here and just slam into Lindon archers, which are relatively unprotected because some spears here are like 12. I'm sure the Elven King can deal with them. You can also deal with the Noldoran swords as well. You may even try and take out Lindon General. There are many options here to open the Merkwood. I'm curious to see what he does. I 
Just really how lucky there. It looks like Lindon captured Towers. It's the only reason they would have been destroyed. Okay, here comes Lindon's General's unit. All the other two units of shipwright nobles. Lindon's pro sorry, Mergo's probably going to send in now everything he's got. Try and wipe out these Lindon units before the shipwright nobles arrive. The other King Riders, where are they? They're still here. Herbert's forces are not doing it. Not doing the locks with any favours by keeping them at bay. Was really going to show up their right thing. You've got a unit of West Garen Blades here bolstering the left. They definitely need to bolster their right. And they've got a spare unit to do just that, so I don't know why they're holding these guys back. There's no threat coming from this direction, there's no reason to keep this unit back here. It should be straight to the fight over here. These generals should be also be running interference for the front line, trying to harass. Lindon's forces there at the rear. I mean, his general looks pretty vulnerable to me. What have they got here? Sword and shields? Cavs should be able to fare pretty good against that. Could even destroy this unit of Lindon archers. Or three units of Lindon archers. They can't fire. Which is a great benefit to Merkwood. I think I'll fast forward it a little bit, guys. It is getting a little bit grindy. All right, guys. We've got the whole guardian sent in. We got the shipwright levels up here. General's being kept back from here. Another count: kind of four ninety-four to six fifteen. No good, as you can see, kept his cab at the very back here, the Elven King Riders. This unit of Lascaran Spears still guarding this, uh, this uh, street here for some reason. Alright, as you can see, the Merkwood actually worn down the Nong quite a bit. Shepard Nobles standing by, but not committed just yet. We've got some local forces just standing around not doing too much. Okay, I've got Nordor and Spacey that's broken through on Merkel's right flank. Somehow. I mean, we've got, we've got troops here. This is where the Alan King Riders could come in handy. We got some less scary speeders. Okay, these guys are finally moving up. And are the other King Riders going to do a rear charge? It's possible. I think he's doing it.
this unit of Oscarian Spears could really be needed here to take out these unit of Motoran Spears. Okay, here comes the Elven Kings. Riders, these guys here facing the right direction. Bouncer Power coming back in favour of Mirkwood slowly. It's pretty even so far. But again, Mirkwood should not be tolerating this. We've got you know, a modern species that could jeopardise his front line defence. His, his right wing is already very weak. There's large gaps in it. He's at risk of being outflanked by the shipwright nobles. This unit of Oscarian Spears has got to move up to plug the gap. Alright. Let's see how good this charge is. Well, it's shuttered them. Didn't kill anyone. Now this is either going to be very good or very bad. Well, that was a good idea. <laughs> well done, locksmith. Not a bad charge at all. But yeah, go after the general's unit. I mean, he's pretty vulnerable. Here we go. Yeah, the, this one's depleted out of position. Nowhere near as good as their first block. Their first block was impeccable. Scaring spears are needed. It's got to bring them up. Three twenty now to two twenty Mercury's cab is really keeping them in the game at the moment. Uh, I really gotta ask uh, the locksmith, was there a rule you couldn't bring this unit up? Just in case, you know. I don't wanna jump on all over you. There was a reason you couldn't use that unit, that's all. Two seventy nine to one twenty seven. Okay, definitely going Merkel's way, despite the Lascarian spears just hanging back here. Have these guys been brought up? This battle could have been over about now. Enemy units have rallied and 
King rise down to 39. Scaring Spears has been committed now. Okay, so Executioner 870 was commanding Lindon. And um, this time we can actually see the kill count of the units. We couldn't we couldn't see that in the siege battle before. So that's pretty cool. So we'll go through the kill count actually. We'll go through Merkwoods first. The Elven King Riders 345. Okay, Hall Guardians 132, Lascar and Spears 109, Forest Rangers 207, 254. And 137. Lascarian Archers 189. And those were the stand up performing units there. Okay, for Lindon. Noldoran Swords 102, 143, and uh, 194. Also 111, 105, 109. The Noldoran Esquitarians 144, 204, and 184. So good kill counts there all around. Well done to the locksmith on his victory. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.